Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and uh, yeah, my girls are looking at me tearing up, up tearing up the uh, compost pile, and as you can see, there's a lot of, uh, you know, stuff that I had inside their pinned area, a lot of chicken manure, rabbit manure is in there, a lot of grass from the lawn, and uh, I basically, um, so what I do to compost once a year, I'll take all this, and uh, um, it's already been composting a bit, so this stuff over here has been composted really good. That's actually this turned into that because it's had time to compost, and I, I found a nice concentration of uh, grubs over there. And uh, grubs are really an important part of uh, grubs and worms. They're a really important part of composting because it attracts them. All this waste attracts them, and they come up from underneath, and they start eating and stuff. And uh, believe it or not, the grubs, not the worms, unless this, this, uh, that's a stock from a, a sunflower, a giant mammoth sun, sunflower. And basically, they'll eat that, the worms will eat that, but they'll only eat it if it's broken down more. And so you have things that break those down. And so um, I found that these actually break them down. These are called crawly backs. And uh, I know a lot of you look at these and you go, ah, they ruined my garden. Um, that could possibly be right. Um, in my experience with these, these ones in particular, um, I've been testing this for years. It's not, it's not something that I, I'm just learning. Uh, I've been testing this for years. And basically, these things, um, this in particular one, is um, they're green. Hold on, they're starting to bite me. So, But basically, you don't want to get rid of these. Oh, and then at the end of the year... Uh, let me just do this real quick. At the end of the year, you can feed them to your girls, and <laughs> they clearly enjoy them. Um, and they fight over them, you see. But anyways, the, these grubs... Oh, come on now. Uh, these grubs, they basically uh, break down the bigger pieces, and they'll break down that wood. They'll even break down this piece of wood here. Um, uh, not by the end of the year. That one will take a little while longer, but... Basically, they'll break all this down. They'll eat all this grass and stuff. They especially like rotting grass. And they'll come in here and they'll break all this down and then the worms will come up. Then from there, the uh, microorganisms will actually eat the worm manure and then produce their own manure. And that's when it's broken down to the level that plants can actually readily take it up. And that's how you get really good soil. Um, uh, and when you have strong soil, you have strong plants. And when you have strong plants, they're less prone to um, disease and pests and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you can't stop rats and, and stuff like that. I mean, it's not going to prevent them. They're going to eat the fruit off of it. But um, that's the thing with uh, the way things are grown nowadays. They don't basically take into account that healthy plants equals um, a healthy uh, way of life. And so... Um, all right, healthy plants equals, um, you know, better, stronger plants that basically are disease resistant in themselves. So it's already in them. It's already built in. So anyways, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, a lot of stuff that we still have in our uh, garden beds. We're going to put it all in here and then we're going to bury it. So we're going to lift all this up. And... <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Believe it or not, that was one massive pile of tomato and all kinds of different plants, even weeds. And so this green right here is going to get this whole pile started cooking again. So go ahead and get out of there, kids. Okay. And by the way, if you have kids, put them to work. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm 38 years old, but I'm not the man I used to be. So I'm using my kids now. So <laughs> they're able-bodied, so... And you know what? They love it. Don't you guys? Yep. Sure. Yeah, that's right. You're 37. Oh, yeah, I'm 37. See? I'm younger than I thought. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and bury it. All right, now the way they're doing this is they're actually stirring soil. They're aerating. They're doing all that. And then uh, after they're done, I basically let the chickens go at it every once in a while. And they basically dig it all out. 
and then we have to bury it again so that stirs it. So it's important that you aerate your uh, compost piles. So, hey, get that plastic piece out of there. I see a little red piece right there. Piece. Right there by the shovel. Oh, um... You just had your finger on it. Oh, it's <laughs> it. There we go. So, yeah, and that gives you opportunities to take stuff out that's foreign. Obviously, we don't want anything in our garden because it's organic. So, anyways, that's how you would do a compost pile. Uh, it's not rocket science. You just put the greens on the bottom. The greens actually start the cooking process. And then uh, the worms, I thought I just saw a grub here. The grubs and the worms and stuff, like I said, they break it all down. And, and uh, yeah, you get yourself some nice soil uh, at the end of the year and this stuff turns black and when you put it on the top as a mulch it also protects the soil so I know that's a lot more in depth than a lot of you guys are used to uh, uh, but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also check out our other channels uh, I'll be posting all the links and stuff below so God bless you guys like always and thank you so much for all the support on this channel uh, almost 10,000 subscribers and it's uh, been pretty fun. So, anyway, God bless. And peace. Say bye, kids. Bye. Bye, kids. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, check out my science channel in the upper left-hand corner. Hit the subscribe button to get all my video updates. And join us on HomeFarmIdeas.com where we have a forum that you can share all your homesteading wisdom. Thank you for watching and God bless.